Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with the new look. Um, seemed to get it right past spring into summer, but um, I'll, I'll come back because I like all of the spring and, spring and summer everything. So um, as far as getting started today, uh, my base is the LYS, and this one I have in uh, 3 Neutral. And then I did go ahead and use the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow. So I had both of these on. I used this one as the primer and this one as the foundation. So that's what I have on there. Um, I do have some of the Pretty Fresh uh, concealer as well. So I have that on as the base today. I found my NYX Thick It Stick It in Cool Ash Brown. So I have that on as well. And then as far as what I did for the cheeks, I did go over to TJ Maxx. I picked up the Bridgerton um, cheek collection. And so I have this, uh, this color on the back of my cheek and then this one on the apple of the cheek. So that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and put some of the Catrice, um, yeah. The Catrice Supreme Rose Beam Highlighter on there as well. So that's what this one looks like. And uh, as far as my bronzer, I used the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze. It. This one is in light. Yeah, I think it's in light, yeah. So this is their lightest color as far as the bronzer goes. So that's what I have on the face. And then when I said that I moved to summer really quickly, um, I picked up the Garden of Juvia's palette. And um, I think that this is going to be like one of my major summer palettes. I know it came out last year. And there's one that's also called Candy Shop. Um, but this is one I picked up, which is the Garden of Julia, Juvia's. And um, really pretty. Um, my channel is called Lilac, and that's what I have on today. I have the Sweet Lilac as a base, and then I went ahead and used Flower Child as well. I used some of this one, which is Blossom, on the very center of the lid. Uh, some of the blooming here on the inside corner. I also use some of daffodil on the inside corner. And I use the sweet lilac under um, the eye as an eyeliner. This way that the eye look came out. So I think that that came out really pretty. Liked it a lot. And um, like I said, I just have a feeling that this palette is going to be one of my major summer palettes and it has some really pretty duochromes, um, shimmery duochromes that I wasn't expecting in there. As far as what I use for finishing powder, I went ahead and used the Butter Glow by Physicians Formula and I used the natural shade. This will go ahead and give you um, a rosy kind of um, it's not really, I don't think you can really, uh, it's not shimmery, but it does definitely give you some rosy glow onto your uh, face. So, um, yeah, uh, the other one that I have, which is the Catrice one, uh, this one actually will give you a really shimmery look, and this one, It'll uh, beef up any rosy colors that you have on there, um, but it won't go as shimmery as this one will. Um, actually, I think I'm going to add some of this on. So one moment here, and we'll... Let's see the difference here. So with this one, yeah, that's a lot more shimmer everywhere. And a lot more glowiness. And where this one will just uh, give you a little bit of warmth and rosiness. So, yeah, they look good together. So this is the Catrice. And uh, this is the Physician's Formula. So, yeah. Fun ideas for summer all the way around. And I think, yeah, it's 
just about how this look is going to go. I think I'm going to do some of this down here and see if I can get some shimmer going. Let's see if we can get, yeah, some of the sparkly bits. And like I said, I think that this palette will just be great for summertime. And um, again, it came out at the end of the summer, so I don't think a lot of people picked it up because of that. Or, um, yeah. Go ahead and get into so, um.